the queen is going to be visiting scotland and the supporter the fan of Meghan markle and prince harry they are freaking out they are spreading conspiracy theories saying that the purpose for the queen to visit scotland is something very very sinister something that should not happen so this is the situation that we are in right now what is happening with the visit of the queen to scotland royal family they are disgusted Meghan markle fan they spark wild conspiracy on queen's scotland visit fans of the duke and duchess of sussex have been spreading bizarre conspiracy theories online after it was announced the queen will visit scotland later this month so that will be end of june in just few days the monarch however they will visit only the charities and businesses in edinburgh glasgow glasgow and sterling it follows media reports that sussex rejected the title um, earl of dumbarton or dumbarton of for archie for archie because they feared it could lead to bullying right now we know that the situation in the monarch the royal british royal family is very bad the brothers prince harry and prince william they are not talking to each other except sometimes rarely through text we know that prince harry is going to come to uk he's going to come back to uk for the princess diana's statue unveiling and they are thinking the royal family and the people who are talking about the royal family they're thinking maybe they will not even talk or see each other however there are other theories saying that no they will talk they will meet they will be trying to even reconcile their differences over over megan markle over prince harry's decision to leave the royal family sussex fans are convinced this story was briefed by royal insider though without providing any proof talking about queen's visit queen elizabeth's visit to scotland reacting to the scotland trip one commented okay quote unquote she said so that explains the earl of dumbarton hit peace they want to get the scots on side by drumming up hostility towards harry and megan and their two-year-old son over a scottish title as we know the title earl of dumbarton is going to be a title given from scotland from the, from the country scotland so scottish title in other words so the fan of megan markle and prince harry they are saying hey look you know what the reason the queen is going to scotland is because she wants to get support from the scottish people against megan markle and prince harry and look the queen is visiting when prince harry is about to come back to uk so look at the timing you know look at the timing how important the timing is i don't know why people are freaking out i mean just is just a visit i guess i don't know they had this plan well i mean before i did not know it but now i come to know that the queen is about to visit scotland so the timing everything everything is so sinister then another person uh, she said well now we can know why the earl of Dumbarton or Dumbarton story is being pushed so hard. Uh, they are hoping Scotland hates Meghan and Harry so that they will still support the royal family bad optics and coat. Other people are saying that this is a conspiracy, this is a pre plan mission to sabotage the reputation of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. In response, uh, another Twitter, she she replied, so obvious and so disgusting, end quote. So obvious, so disgusting. I don't know why people are divided when it comes to the UK royal family. Why not we can just be focused on the good things that both of these people are doing on both sides of the, of the aisle. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, they're doing something that is good for other people, I'm sure. The British royals, they're doing something that is good for the people, I'm sure. 
why not we talk about those things that they're ta doing talk about those things why talk about fighting oh this guy is picking on that guy they're fighting the duke and duchess of sussex attended the commonwealth day service at westminster abbey abbey or abbey abbey <laughs> in march 2020 for their final engagement before quitting royal duties so that happened uh, in March 2020. So that was the last year, like more than year, uh, one year now, because this is end of almost end, end of June and uh, 2021. So that's a long time that they have given up their, or they quit their royal duties. But respected royal biographer, Robert Lacey has claimed, Harry was left furious by their treatment at the event. The event that took place, the Westminster um, Commonwealth Day Service. Harry did not like it, according to this uh, biographer. Mr. Lacey said, while William and Kate, this is the reason he said, while William and Kate took part in the procession with the Queen and other senior royals, Harry and Meghan were forced to shuffle, quote unquote, shuffle to their seats like all the other attendees. So, so they were treated like ordinary citizen, UK citizen. While you have Prince Harry, sorry, Prince William and Kate Middleton being treated like a true royal. So this is what he's saying. And that made Prince Harry very, very uncomfortable and Prince Harry didn't like it. So that added to the problem that was already existing that time. Because remember, the problem in the British royal family started back in 2017 when Prince William found out Meghan Markle was actually bullying some of the workers, employees. At the British royal family uh, just crazy the couple were made the couple were made to take their places on the sidelines alongside Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex writing in the updated edition of his battle of brothers book mr. Lacey the same guy said the Sussex had been pushed sorry punished quote-unquote not pushed punished because they had been so hustling and aggressive with Megxit. Okay. Okay. Megxit created a lot of problem. So now you have another problem with the Megxit. And so they said, you know what? We're going to punish you guys because you guys are going to leave the royal family anyways. So we're going to punish you. We're going to be very, 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 very severe with you. Um, the Sussex had been punished because they had been so hustling and aggressive with Megxit. The pair were struck from the order of service, which the royal expert described as a snub, quote unquote, in black and white, plainly set out for all to see. So the reason why they were being sidelined, the reason why Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were being kept behind Prince William and Harry and actually way behind them was because that was a form of punishment for them losing respect for the royal family, for them to think about quitting royal duties, for them to not remain part of the royal British royal family the way we see it today. So they were being punished, that's what they're saying. So uh, this biographer, Mr. Lacey, he added, it would have uh, cost nothing, uh, quote unquote, to include Harry and Meghan in the service for a final time as their abrupt Demotion was cruelly apparent. Well, I mean, that was the last time they would be there anyway. So what's the point? That can be argued. He continued, when Mary and, uh, sorry, when, when Harry heard that he and Meghan had been so graphically sh uh, shunted aside on this final appearance, he was furious. Obviously, Harry got crazy mad. The sub subservience of a spare quote unquote the subservience of a spare one of the basic reasons for this very sad parting of the ways could not have been more strikingly illustrated so it came with all its majestical form <laughs> that the british royal family are hating megan and Harry. that's what he's saying that the british royal family made it absolutely clear to the rest of the world we do not like Meghan and Harry. I'm just furious. Furious. The Sussexes sat in the second row behind the Queen, Prince Charles, Camilla, and the, and the, and the Duke and Duchess of 
Cambridge during the service. So people noticed how they sat and this they go like, look, this is not good. Tensions were apparent between the Sussexes who are now living in California and the royals. Things are getting pretty heated up. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been brutally mocked as royal family records cast doubt on their claim they were cut off after leaving the monarchy. Dominic Samuels told Channel 5's Jeremy Vine, or Vine that many of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's claim have been proven to be untrue. Okay, so they are not only just punishing Meghan Markle and Harry by making them sit behind, way behind the, the senior royal family members, but also they are saying that everything Meghan Markle said and Prince Harry said about the royal family, you know, all the racism thing is, is not true. So this is what they're saying. I'm not, this is not what I'm saying. This is what people are saying. Okay, Prince Charles is expected to be absent when Prince Harry visit the UK next month and will be leaving his sons to hash to hash out their differences without him. As I said in my other video, Prince Charles is not willing, he's not interested in this kind of row, you know, between the brothers. He's, 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 he's growing old, he needs to take care of himself, he has a responsibility as a royal family member, uh, he has royal duties, he's not going to get involved in fighting between these two young men, Prince Harry and William. Um, something very interesting that I want to share with you guys, if you liked it, subscribe, I will see you soon again, take care.